Hello, good morning my dear children. How are you all? Hope you are having good time with your family and hope you are all staying safe at your houses. So now is the time that we take our books and spend some time in our studies. And I welcome you all to the new academic year 2020. Till now, you have fought with your siblings, you might have uh, spent some time in drawing, painting, cooking, dancing and whatever it is. But this is the time that you open your book and concentrate on your studies. I request you all one thing, that take your headphones, concentrate on your studies now. Like Father's Day, like Children's Day, like Mother's Day, we are having a day on 5th June. Can you say what is the day? Yes, it is World Environmental Day. So we are going to study about environment. It is Geography First Lesson, Our Environment. I request you all to open your textbooks, page number 91. Now let us go into the lesson, our environment. What is an environment? Environment is nothing but the surroundings. The surroundings or we can also say it as neighborhood. What all are included in a surroundings? If we come out of a house, what all the things we can see? We can see plants, we can see animals, we can see buildings, we can see roads. All these come under our environment. Environment is also known as basic life support system. So for our livelihood, what all the things we need? We need air. We need water, we need plants, we need land to live. So all these come under our environment and this is also called as basic life support system. So now let us uh, take our textbook, see page number 91. See the picture given here. Let's see how ugly or how dirty the surroundings are there. The road is having so much of trash and many people are walking there and many animals are there. So do we need to keep our surroundings like that? Answer children? No, we should not keep our surroundings like that because if we keep like that, what will happen? So the trash, what is there on the road will develop so many microorganisms, so many algae, fungi and everything will be developed there and that will affect the environment and it will it get spread and it will affect human beings. So we should not keep our surroundings like that. We have to keep our surroundings always clean and especially in this season, we all very well know how to keep ourselves clean and hygienic. We, even a small kid, know how to keep the surroundings clean, how to wash the hand, how to sanitize and all. People know very well. So not only in the pandemic situation, but we have to remember all these things every time. So our environment is having both living things and non-living things. Living things are also called as biotic. This is a scientific term. Non-living things are called as abiotic. Can you give some example for living things that are there in the environment? Plants, animals, all these come under living things. And non-living things like buildings, roads, all these come under non-living things. Our environment is divided into two types, natural environment and human-made environment. Now let us see natural environment. What is natural environment? The things that are there on the earth by nature are called as natural environment. Examples. Can you give some examples for natural environment? Yes, plants, animals, all this uh, comes under natural environment. No man can create plant, no man can create a tree, no man can create water. So all these that are there on the earth, that are there in the nature are called as natural environment. Now let us 
study further about the natural environment. Natural environment is divided into physical environment and biological environment. Let us study in depth about physical environment. It is further divided into lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. So the natural environment is divided into physical and biological environment. Physical environment is further divided into lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. I think you all remember what is lithosphere, what is hydrosphere and what is atmosphere. You have studied in your previous class that is in 6. So let us learn everything in detail. As I said earlier, the physical environment has three components that is the lithosphere, the hydrosphere and the atmosphere. Lithos. Lithos is a word that is derived from Greek which means stone. So the lithosphere is the outer hard surface of the earth is called as lithosphere. And I think you all remember what are the three landforms? Can I, uh, can I get some answers? Yes. The, uh, the three landforms that comes under lithosphere are mountains, plateaus and plains. All these comes under lithosphere and we also get some minerals and some valuable things from lithosphere. Now let us see what is a hydrosphere. The meaning of hydro is water. So uh, the meaning of hydro is water. The Whatever the water that is there on the earth, under the earth and in the atmosphere, all this comes under hydrosphere. And how much percentage of water is there on the earth? It is 71% of the earth is filled with water. Hydrosphere is the largest component of the earth. It includes rivers, lakes, oceans, all come under hydrosphere and even without food we can survive. But can we survive without water? It is very hard. Not only for human beings, for animals water is required, for constructing buildings water is required, for uh, constructing roads, for everything water is required. So it is an essential source for all the human beings, plants, animals and everything. So hydrosphere is the largest component of the earth. Now let us see the atmosphere. The earth is enveloped by a thin layer of air which is known as atmosphere. Here atmos meaning vapor. So the earth is covered with a thin layer of air that is called as atmosphere and in the air we are having water vapor that is uh, that everything comes under the atmosphere and in the air we know that how many gases are there we are having carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen these are the main gases that are there in the uh, atmosphere. Along with that, there are many other uh, gases that are there in the atmosphere. This air not only uh, provides gases and all, but it also controls the temperature of the earth. The atmosphere controls the temperature of the earth. So till now we have seen about the natural environment and what is physical environment and what are the components that are there in the physical environment that is lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. And in natural atmosphere again we are going to deal with biological environment. The biological environment is nothing but the lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere meet together to form biosphere. In this biosphere where life exists, the biosphere is a place where life exists. The interaction of the biosphere with the physical components like lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere leads to a system called ecosystem. The interaction of biosphere with lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere 
leads to a system called ecosystem. Let us see that in the next session.